everyone. Thanks for tuning in to this episode of HXGN TV. I'm your host, Jackie. Here at CES 2020, a huge consumer electronics show. And if there's one thing we're learning here this week is that consumer demand for electronics is not slowing down anytime soon. In fact, estimates project that the value of the electronics assembly industry will grow to approximately $1.5 trillion. That's trillion with a T by 2023. That's just a few years from now. So what we're wondering is how can manufacturers on the factory floor keep up with that level of demand? To discuss this topic and even more, we're joined here today by Massimo, the Machining Market and Product Manager for Production Software at Hexagon. Thanks for taking the time to talk to us, Massimo. Thanks for having me. So first, let's start off by asking you, what are the key concerns for production engineers and managers when they're making these products? All right, so thanks for the questions. So first of all, um, very happy to be here. CES is a fantastic venue for us. And as you can see here, you know, there is a mix of huge corporation, huge company, and also small startups. Mm -hmm. And this is in many ways reflect our type of customer typically. So we go from uh, huge volume production to small volume production mm -hmm. as well. So typically we talk to all customers and we are very familiar with their concerns or their worries about what is gonna happen in the future. So before I can answer fully your questions, I need to make two distinguish between the industry concern, so the manufacturing in general concerns, and the production concern. Okay. So if we're talking about manufacturing concerns, one of the first things that comes to mind is the um, lack of skills in the industry. Okay. So basically, the, uh, the old generation is leaving the business, is taking a lot of valuable skills with them, and the new generation is not coming in. Recent study or recent report has been telling us that in the next 10 years, in the next decade, uh, probably 4.65 million of jobs will be created in this industry. Wow, that's but a lot all, of jobs. It is quite a job, but only 50% of them will be fulfilled. Okay. So in that regard, we think that Hexagon, the one of the way to help the industry in that sense is to invest more in automation in an autonomous solution. And this is exactly what we're trying to do. Great. Another of the concerns that this industry has is the uh, capability to adapt to the technology at the same speed or right. which the technology comes and we can see clearly that in many customers there is a little bit of reluctancy in moving as quickly as the technology would like to right so one of the first example for example is IOT and 5G's and all this type of uh, new technology coming to the market is something that occasionally scares also the customer away but here at Hexagon what we're trying to do is actually to try to explain to the customer how all this data and all this information can actually help them in uh, streamlining their process and so therefore improving their productivity. Uh, additional concerns for the industry are obviously competition. I mean there is a strong competition coming from Asia, specifically China, and I think that one of the way that uh, Europe and US can compete with that is just by keep investing in technology and uh, using the technology to the best of their potentials in order to produce high quality product. Obviously, there are some environmental concerns. I mean, more and more countries are introducing strict rules on how you know, the working force should be working inside the shop floor and also the type of material, how does material get recycled and so on. But ultimately, if we want to talk about just purely the production side of it, we have some big distinguish to make between a low volume production or a high volume production. Okay. So in terms of low volume production, obviously uh, one of their main concerns is to try to keep the cost of the tooling as low as possible. Right. And other things that they have to do is to be able to have a go-to-market strategies, which is uh, allow them to bring the product to market very quickly, but at the same time to be as much as possible flexible in what they're doing because very often product changes during the life of the product itself. And thirdly, I will say that one of the things they also have to consider is that if the product is successful, how they can migrate what they've done to a larger volume production. Uh, so producing the tooling to make a product can be a major obstacle in bringing products to market efficiently. We all know that. Can you tell us how Hexagon products are helping to accelerate tool design for the electronics industry specifically? Abs absolutely. One of the things that we're very good at, this is at the core of our business, mm -hmm. you know? And one of the things that we typically do is, for example, we allow what we call a collaborative mode. So that means that multiple users can work contemporaneously on the same part. And this has allowed them typically to shorten the engineering phase by roughly 40% oh, compared, to, compared to the traditional product. 
but our uh, traditional, sorry, the traditional uh, way of doing things. Right. But this is not the only things that we do. Uh, in addition to this, we also allow uh, with our solutions to have uh, a very smart ways to resolve the typical task that has to be repeated on, on a regular basis all the time. So it's, lately you can imagine automation is a big thing for us, for example, and also the ability to, for example, collect different data, have a lot of you know, catalogs and libraries, and a lot of things predefined for the customer that allows them to speed up the process of creating the object that they're creating massively. So you, you touched on it a little bit, and I know the automation of processes is, is very important to your customers in the electronics industry. So tell me exactly why that can help. All right, so like I said before, one of the biggest problems in the industry is that it's the lack of skilled people coming to, the, coming to the trade. So automation is absolutely paramount for them. But from our point of view, there is not just automation. So we are considering that, for example, and that's where we are wasting a lot, of, a lot of time and resources, is that even the use of the product has to be simpler. So we want to have a very sophisticated solution, but at the same, very accessible solution so that customer can use them properly. So this is one aspect of it. The other aspect of it, which is becoming more and more important, is the ability to collect and manage data. So data is really where the power of, in, of this industry will be in the future. So being able to interpret the data and using the data accordingly to solve problems is really key for the automation. We have been providing automation to our customer for many, many years. And you know, we've been successful in doing it. Uh, very often uh, we reach results of a reduction in the production cycle by 30, 40% as well. But we think there is much more that we can do. And we actually think that Automation is just only the beginning of it. Uh, being able to move into autonomous solution is really key for the future of the industry. There's always more looking ahead to the future. Absolutely. And that is. leads nicely to our last question. Finally, Hexagon wants to make manufacturing smarter. We're hearing that word smarter in a lot of the things you guys are doing. What new technologies do you think we might see that are impacting how we make products in the years to come, looking ahead? All right, so if you look at what is coming to the market, there is all array of different technology. And some of them, they're very, very exciting. You're talking about nanotechnology, you're talking about additive manufacturing, you're talking about uh, generative design, you're talking about IoT, uh, data management. Uh, uh, there, is, there are a lot, tons of it. You know, 5G is another one. So I personally think that between all of them, what will really create a revolution inside this industry is going to be, like I said before, the ability to use the data, use the amount of data, you have to imagine that every single piece in the production cycles contain already a lot of data, but the real benefit of collecting all the data together and make sense out of them and using this data to feed this information back to the AI and being able to use the AI to better the process, this is going to be really where the future is going to go to. Thanks so much for joining us, Massimo, and sharing all that exciting insight with us. For more information on this topic, you can visit hexagonmi.com. To watch more videos like this one, please visit hxgnspotlight.com. Thanks for tuning in.